Gotta hit him hard and hit him fast. Yeah, speed bra. We're yeah. just speeding away with the bras. So, this is a good game. Yes, I... Addictive wow. as hell. I like it. It's, uh... <laughs> that seems to be my signature line. Does he like or does he dislike? If he says he likes it, he likes it. If um, he says he hates it. It really feels, to me, feels kind of like, um... Metal Arms? Am I thinking the right... No, I'm not thinking the right name. Metal uh, Slug? Yes, Metal Slug meets a brawler. And like the goal is to be as fast as possible, and we haven't quite figured out how to be super fast yet. You were on the verge of that. I don't know when you got a thumbs up. That yeah, I think battle. there's like a there's like advanced uh, moves, but I wanted yeah. to play a game with you because you were just sitting on the sidelines while you were going through a tutorial. I yeah. was going through a tutorial. Yeah, I just I feel I don't know if it was because you were doing a lot of combos or what it was, but the game is really fast. Like I think I accidentally saw like a little bit of a video on the actual Steam page, and it's like they're zipping around like crazy. From yeah, I remember, so it'd be like really cool. Yeah, I I really think I don't know if that's like from practice or because they got better equipment, but I feel like. You know, I love the guitar music. It's really like '80s. You know the you know screaming guitars, harmonics, like, and it's really polished. Like the animation's amazing for like, especially I don't know how big Double Stallion is, but like this game is really polished for. I it sounds bad, but like Canadian games, we look at Canadian games and it's like okay. It was made in Ubisoft, Montreal, for example, or, you know, there's a lot of indie developers, but, like, this doesn't, to me, doesn't really feel like an indie game. Like, it's that well polished. It feels like you can play this on a Switch. Yeah, and I think it is getting ported to the Switch, as far as I know, but it's for $20, like, I pay full price because I'm like, okay, it's a Canadian developer, it seems like a really cool concept. You know, we're just going to take a gamble here, and I really feel like it's worth the 15 or $20. The gamble paid off. Yeah, like you can upgrade your characters. Uh, it looks like there's three more characters or more to unlock. There's RPG um, elements. Yeah, and, and like the characters are interesting. This is, honestly, like this is the game that, I, to me at least, that stood out the most tonight. Um, I was really looking forward to playing this game, and like we both reluctantly stopped playing. Like I was saying to Nick, "Hey, let's play another round." And Nick's like, "It's ten thirty, Jim." Yeah, because you it have was to like, go to work tomorrow. <laughs> well, not only that, but like yeah. we we agreed earlier. Yeah, it's, so it's like addictive. Yeah, um, and if that is the case, if if the time is telling us to go, to stop playing, damn time. That is getting in the way of the fun. That's when you know this is a good, this is like, I could see this game being played with me and my friends over on co-op. We'd be talking on Discord. The co-op, to me, is what makes this interesting. Like, just, and it's not I, even if I played it on my own, I probably wouldn't enjoy as much. But I think if this is like a couch, this is like the game that I would be like, hey, we've got to upgrade. Let's beat the story mode. I'm, I'm curious to see, like, where this game goes. Um... I like the speedier character a lot more. I didn't really like the sort of the bulky extreme, character. Yeah, I, I didn't really like. I don't know. I'm not really. Yeah, like I guess a it fan depends the, on play style. It's the pers yeah, it's personality preference slash play style, and I don't know. I prefer to have a faster character. I'm assuming like the next character or so will have like a, you know, in between or like middle e character or like even like someone who prioritizes in like. Because we've had the big hit, the one that hits hard, and the one that runs fast. Yeah, that's so what I was saying. Like, you need to have someone to, like, tank the, the two. You need, like, someone to tank the hits. Yeah. Or, like, someone um, who's a utility. And then the graphics, like, the animation's really smooth. Um, yep. And there's, there's, super, there's a super attack. I don't know if there's more than one super attack for everything, but... It, you can upgrade on the skill tree, so... Maybe. Yeah, I assume so. It looks like there's a ton of moves to unlock, and I think that's the biggest thing with beat em ups like, you know, the same punch, the same one or two punches, and this sort of goes past that. Kind of like that uh, girl beat em up we played, the Soda Pop... Yeah, Soda Pop called. Girls. Yeah, and that was also had a unique look, too. Sort of more anime, I don't know how to describe it, look. This is more like, uh, 
I don't know, like more Mega Man? I don't know if um, that's even it, I think it's Metal Slug if it was a yeah. steampunkish game. Yeah. But I really liked it. I, I, my main... I can't really... It's Call not it as gripe. bad. I can't really say... The only gripe is I don't have time to play this game right now. That's my main gripe. Yeah. Um, my only main gripe about this game... Yeah. It's not even a gripe at all. I was just confused. Like, because the bulky character, I... We, we thought it was a boy, and then, like, My I just gripe is, I went it a little closer, better. and it's like, Is oh. it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it a squid? Is it a cat? Is it a kid? <laughs> yeah. But despite that... Uh, once I once I got the idea in my head, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Honestly, ten out of ten. There's not. This is what I really want to say earlier, and it occurred to me when I was playing. And like, there's very few games when I play them, I get like, not shiver down my spine, but I feel like you know, this game's really cool. And like, you sort of like, I'm trying to. I can't think of the right wording. When you when you have like that extra sensitivity, when you're. Um, Hyperactivity? I don't know. When you're like skin crawls. Not crawls, but goosebumps. like... Goosebumps. Goosebumps, yeah, sorry. I couldn't even think of it. You get the I Carl Stein like, feeling. I get the Carl Stein feeling, and there's so few games out there that when I first play them, I get that feeling, or when I go back. And I felt that with Gold Knight, and I felt that with this game. So if that's like... That gives like the... I would give a 9 out of 10 at least for this game. Like, there's very few games when I pick them up, I, I feel that. And, like, Mario 64, I think I felt that. Like, it's so rare to have that feeling. Like, I really like this game. And it shows that you're, like, really connected and, like, absorbed in the game. And Yeah. I personally give it 10 out of 10 myself. It's a really fun game. I imagine playing with this with a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. Either yeah. competitively or co-op. Yeah, I, I highly recommend this game and like... This is probably like one of our... How to like praise it more than I currently am. Uh, I, I don't... I can't think of any grapes. Like either you like this, like a beat-em-up like this, but like this, the menus are like Smash Brothers. There like, is only oh, one gripe I have. You have a grape. The, like... When you start the game and you're starting it with a friend, it yeah. takes a while to actually get into the game. You have to Five, go through tutorials, minutes. the cutscenes. Yeah. You have to get right into the meat of things. But yeah, it's, it's, it but doesn't take that long. It's not like, it's not like Wise, where yeah. it's like six, 60 minutes to, to get to, to the island. on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. I really can't think of anything like other than the fact that you're either going to like this type of game, but... I love the music, love the graphics. This is uh, definitely our recommend. This is like, if we had like a list of games that we put on recommend. The Hall of Awesomeness. Yeah. Yeah, this is on the Hall of Awesomeness, guys. So yeah, check it out. We love it. We love your game, Double Stallion, so. 10 out of 10. Buy it. 9 out price. of 10 for him, 10 out of 10 for me. Yes. We're full price for both of us. Yes. Here's the money. Here's the money. All right, let's Here go. Here comes the money. Speed brawl. All right. Keep on gaming.